So, a game-changing partnership was just announced for Dogecoin, and it could very easily lead to its mass adoption. So, let's talk about it. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we go any further, please keep in mind that we're giving away $100 to a random subscriber. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment on your favorite cryptocurrency. Read our description for more info about it. Now, let's get started with today's video. So, Incom Payments has partnered with Flexa Payments to help its retail partners provide digital currencies to their clients. So, as I said, this is going to boost the number of transactions that are done via Dogecoin. It's a pretty big deal because Incom is a market leader in alternative payments. Currently, it has over 500,000 retail distribution locations and also has a global presence in over 30 countries. On top of that, it has over 1,000 brand partners and over 850 million cards that are processed annually. Also, their yearly transaction value exceeds $50 billion. So, I think this could single-handedly take us really close to Dogecoin's mass adoption. Now, there's another massive partnership that was announced by Crypto.com. So they announced a collaboration with Ultimate Fighting Championship as the company's worldwide fight kit partner. According to sources, it is a 10-year arrangement that'll cost them $175 million. And this might be the largest sponsorship deal to date that UFC has ever received. Now, the exciting part is that the Crypto.com brand will be shown on UFC fighter uniforms this Saturday during the bout between Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor. And we know that Conor McGregor is a huge star and a lot of people are going to tune in to watch the match. So this is going to bring in a lot of exposure to cryptos like Dogecoin this Saturday. Also, this isn't the first time a crypto exchange has partnered with a sports organization. FTX has recently collaborated with MLB, TSM, and even Super Bowl champion Tom Brady. And there was another collaboration between the Portland Trailblazers of the NBA and the cryptocurrency cashback startup StormX. So, the point is that this is just the beginning. We're going to see a lot more partnerships like this in the future, which will bring in millions of new members in the crypto space. Now, another collaboration was announced today between Trade the Chain and the NASCAR driver Landon Castle. If that name sounds familiar, I wouldn't blame you because he recently had the Dogecoin sticker on his car in the qualifying race. Anyway, this new branding will be displayed on Castle's number 4 car for the rest of the season's 16 races and that includes the playoffs. So, that's even more exposure to cryptos like Dogecoin. Now, another great news came out for Dogecoin. Robinhood COO recently said that they're pushing crypto trading to more and more women. She also stated that the number of women using the trading app had more than tripled, indicating a 369% rise year-on-year. -year. Also, another data published from a Gemini poll in April indicated there were more women than males interested in investing in cryptocurrency for the first time in history. So, this is pretty great because until now, women weren't that interested in crypto. And that part of the market was hugely untapped. And we know that Robinhood is the biggest platform right now that's trading Dogecoin. So, now that Robinhood is working to get more women into crypto, it'd get a lot of new members into the Dogecoin community, which is pretty exciting. Now, another interesting statistic came out for Dogecoin. According to Trading Platform's data, one quarter of U.S. cryptocurrency investors chose Dogecoin in 2021 compared to 15% in the U.K. It also said that crypto usage will continue to rise in 2021, with over 300 million crypto users and 18,000 businesses accepting crypto payments. So, this is pretty great for Dogecoin because Americans are choosing to pay more attention to it now. And this is crucial because Americans have a great purchasing power, which means they could invest a sizable amount into a cryptocurrency that they really like. So, I think it's great that Dogecoin is one of their cryptocurrencies of choice. Now, let's talk a bit more about why Dogecoin continues to be popular. We know that it has gotten a lot of competition from cryptocurrencies like Floki and Shiba Inu, but it seems that Dogecoin has a substantial advantage over all of them. The other cryptos, it seems, are trying to take a shortcut to scam the amateur traders. So, this article talks about how Floki Inu ran into trouble and investors discovered there were flaws with the contract. 
Basically, customers were seeing error messages after withdrawing or selling it on Uniswap. Then there was another fraud where the developer of Floki Inu was taxing the holders 20% on transactions to funnel their funds into his own wallet. Now, the interesting thing is that people bought into Floki Inu despite getting scammed the first time. They allowed the developers to scam them again, and I think the reason behind this is the fear of missing out. So, this is what I've been talking about. You should always do proper research before investing anything into crypto. And you shouldn't just get in because one of your friends is buying it. Now, coming back to Floki Inu, the point is that there are a lot of cryptocurrencies that are trying to take Dogecoin's place. But the fact is that none of them are going to be able to do it because of the legitimacy that comes with Dogecoin. We have never heard a news like this come out from a Dogecoin holder. Also, Dogecoin developers are constantly working to make it better every single day, which proves that Dogecoin is here to stay. Now, talking about FOMO, another great news came out from Turkey. So, according to a new study, Turkey's crypto user base has increased more than 11 times in the previous year. Now, let's put that into perspective. Last year, only 0.7% of over 6,000 respondents had traded crypto. But this year, 7.7% of the 1,400 respondents said that they started trading crypto. So I think it's great that new countries are emerging literally every day where crypto is becoming more and more popular. Now, another pretty great news came from Brazil. The most recent nominee to lead Brazil's SEC has said that he's going to pay special attention to digital assets. This is great because the last nominee wasn't too keen about cryptocurrencies, and so the new one's support is going to bring in a lot of funds from Brazil. Also, the first crypto ETF was recently approved in Brazil. This proves that Brazil is already a step ahead of the United States when it comes to crypto adoption. So, the US SEC is yet to approve its first crypto ETF. Also, they recently rejected another ETF that was proposed by Anthony Scaramucci's Skybridge Capital. Now, we really want them to approve the first ETF in the US because it'll bring a lot of big money into the market. And I think we could see them accept the first ETF very soon. Gary Gensler, who's the current chairman of SEC, has previously taught classes about Bitcoin at MIT. Moreover, the former chairman of CFTC came out today and said that the SEC should look into crypto ETS because they're good for investors and regulators. He explained this by saying that the SEC does not have the authority to regulate crypto exchanges because it can only regulate exchanges that trade securities in Bitcoin and the other widely traded tokens are not securities. The regulator could use the ETF approval process to improve transparency and integrity of trading on crypto exchanges. So, I hope you see why this is such a big deal. A lot of institutions and retail investors are skeptical of the risks that come with a crypto exchange. And when the first ETF is finally approved, it's going to bring a lot of funds into Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Goodbye. Take care.